Good morning and welcome back to Y254 in the morning. My name is Faith Msoli. If you're just joining us, it's Wednesday. And if it's Wednesday, you know it's WCW. On this segment, we celebrate the strength of a woman. Uh, you can catch us across all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. Engage me, sorry, engage me at Faith Msoli. And so many a times women go through so many sleepless nights because of skincare issues. And today we talk about beauty and skincare. You wake up one morning and your face is just pimpled up. You go to Google, it tells you use morning urine, some crazy things that we women use on our faces. And then it doesn't just work for you. You again, your friend tells you, you can use charcoal, just unakoroga charcoal, apply it on your face, doesn't work for you. We even go to an extent of using raw eggs. So today in studio, we just want to find some solutions that come with skincare. And in studio today, we've got, we're speaking to Ms. Grant International. She's the ambassador. She doubles up as an ambassador to Fletner Skincare. Her name is Irene Ngendo. It's a pleasure having you this morning. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, you're, you're a model, yes. I guess. Yes. And so to me, when I was growing up, I, would, I, I had this fallacy that for you to be a model, you just need to have uh, a slender body. Now mm -hmm. that I was slender, tiny mm -hmm. growing up, and then again along the way, I realized that was not the case. <laughs> so tell us, who is Irene Ngendo? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Okay, I like that you're talking about um, the misconceptions that are actually in modeling because there are quite a lot. Mm -hmm. We're told that you have to be slender, you have to be really tall, but what people don't know, there are different segments of modeling. Mm -hmm. So for me, the segment that I've done actually all, but the segment that I kind of specialize in is pageantry. Mm -hmm. This is the, you know, Miss World, Miss Africa, Miss Awards, all, all of these Miss pageants where girls are competing. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of thing that I specialize in. So Irene Yendo is a pageant queen. She's someone who loves the idea in the platform of pageantry mm -hmm. especially because you know in pageantry it's not just about walking on a runway mm -hmm. it's you being able to take up a leadership position mm -hmm. and being able to do some good in the community in your community so that's one of the main reasons i actually entered into pageantry minus that i'm a student of course i'm at jcot i'm pursuing mathematics and computer science wow. and right now being here i'm a flatna skincare ambassador so that's actually the capacity i've come for this interview in yeah Wow. So where can people find you on social media? Ah, on social media, you can find me um, at Renee Queen. When you search, it's R E W N I E underscore Q U I N. If you search that, or if you just write Miss Grand Kenya, it'll be able to show up, and you'll see um, Renee Queen account. Yeah. So many people might be aware of Miss Kenya, yeah. uh, Miss Kisumu County, for mm -hmm. example, but they might not be so much aware of miss grant international yeah. so enlighten us there are so many pageants honestly there's so many so many pageants <laughs> in the world <laughs> i it, there are counts countless like there's so many mm -hmm. so um one of them um the big five pageants the two main ones that people know in the world is miss world mm -hmm. and miss universe that's uh, everyone kind of knows of that mm -hmm. but there are five main pageants that are found on the high end of pageantry mm -hmm. and um from miss grand and miss universe you'll then have something like um miss international mm -hmm. then you'll see miss grand mm -hmm. and you will have Miss Supranational. Those are the five big pageants. So Miss Grand International is actually amongst the five big pageants in the world. Mm -hmm. And I was able to represent my country and I got to top 20. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what prize comes with Miss Grand International King? Ah, Miss Grand International Kenya, actually, now here's the thing. I was actually the one who reached out to Miss Grand International, the organization, mm -hmm. so that I could represent Kenya. Because sadly, there is not yet an organization here in Kenya, like the way there is Miss World Kenya, mm -hmm. that is running it. So it, it was actually my own initiative. Mm -hmm. So there was not necessarily a prize for being the Kenyan queen, mm -hmm. minus the representation, of course, of my country, which for me uh, meant a lot. So yes. Wow. Yeah. So... Uh, in your own opinion, mm -hmm. 
be growing up mm -hmm. uh, modeling or rather beauty pageantry mm -hmm. was something that was so glamorous yeah it would be like when we're having Miss World Kenya it would be something aired mm -hmm. on television yeah. live but now today do you think that the industry is dying because do you think that it's losing the glamour that it used to have before? Mm -hmm. um, it's a good question, actually, because, as I said, there are only two pageants known here in Kenya, that that's Miss World Kenya and Miss Universe Kenya. Mm -hmm. And Miss World Kenya is, um, I think, the one that's really known here in Kenya. And as you're saying, um, in recent times, it would even be aired on television and such. Mm -hmm. And I think it still actually is. It was actually, the competition was recent, and we had Sharon Obara who won. Yeah. And we've seen her um, doing TV interviews so for here in Kenya, Miss World and Miss Universe Kenya is quite, quite big. But I don't think Kenya um, has really embraced pageantry the way it should be. Mm -hmm. Because when you go out to other countries and you're competing with other countries like the Philippines, especially Asian countries, mm -hmm. even the Americas, you find that they have such a value for pageantry that they, um, the organization will invest a lot. Even the government itself is involved mm -hmm. in pageants, which is not the, the same case here in Kenya. So in Kenya, it's yet to catch up, um, you know, pick up that pace. Mm -hmm. But having girls like me who can go out of their way to represent their country and then show uh, people that we can actually place will give that confidence to organizations, to the government, to actually join in and help out in pageantry because really it's a big opportunity. In other countries, it's a billion um, dollar industry. True. Yeah. Why do you think the sponsors are not just coming up to support the industry in Kenya? I think because um, without um, many pageants here mm -hmm. and seeing that girls here when sometimes they go and they don't place people lose that value so really it's for the girls themselves to decide let's first invest in ourselves in training in taking a chance on ourselves mm -hmm. because before someone can take a chance on you you have to take a chance on yourself and show them that hey i believe in myself and i'm able to put myself out there and actually emerge top because right now beginning my um pageantry career i actually had almost zero supporters because no one really knew about me, no one really knew a lot about pageantry. But from the word go when I started from Miss Jaquat to Miss Progress to Miss um, Africa and then to Miss Grant, as I was building up, I've gotten so much more support. I even have people, designers, different organizations that are ready to work with me now. Mm -hmm. So if it didn't take me taking a chance on myself and putting myself out there, who would actually um, come onto the table and say, okay, let me add on to what you have. So I think it's really for the girls to train themselves so that when they go out there, they can place highly yeah oh, okay so there are so many misconceptions that come with being uh, a model mm -hmm. in particular you find that uh, in most cases you uh, you've gone for a competition but someone wants to wants you expects you to pull down your pants before you get what you you're looking for mm -hmm. Have you encountered such? Uh, I haven't encountered such, mm -hmm. um, so to say. But I think it's not just even in modeling. I think being a All woman over, yes. is, is difficult. Yes. People are like expecting favors before they can see you as a professional person um, mm -hmm. pursuing a career. Mm -hmm. So it's for you to be able to have, just like in any other career, mm -hmm. for you to be able to have your own um, boundaries mm -hmm. and to decide, I'm not going to cross these lines. I'm going to work around them if I have to. And I'm not going to cross these lines. I'm going to make sure sure that um, I am professional in everything I do. So you find that there are girls who, yes, will succumb to such things, mm -hmm. but those girls, if we're being honest, never really go far. So if you're looking to go far in your pageantry career, it mm -hmm. takes more of that um, moral responsibility on your own so that you can go far and people can take you seriously. Right. So yeah. speaking of professionalism, mm -hmm. Uh, do you think that every pageant that wins, like let's say for example Miss Kenya mm -hmm. or Miss Grant like mm -hmm. you, so do you think that it's usually fair? Do they win fairly or it's all about opinion yeah. and whom you like? And you know, um, that's the thing, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, in pageantry, we'll have like a panel of judges mm -hmm. and different people will have different opinions of who they think is representing themselves well. Mm -hmm. So pageantry, yes, is usually that tricky because you never know who the judge um, 
uh, maybe the people sitting there, wh wh what they think about, what's the kind of personality that maybe impresses them? Because that's true of everyone. Everyone has that different personality that will impress them. Maybe mm -hmm. you, something else will impress you in someone, and something else will impress me differently in someone. That's why it's usually good to have a long panel of judges and not just three. It's good mm -hmm. to have around seven so that um, at least when you have majority of them being impressed by one person, that can be your winner. But as you're saying, sometimes you do find that pageantry um, can end up being unfair, but that's not always the case. What I always tell myself is instead of thinking that it's going to be unfair, I won't win, someone else will win over me, um, I need to think that I'm the winner already because if I am convinced I'm the winner, I can convince the judges I'm the winner. And if I'm able to sit um, to, to present myself on the show day and make sure that I am so exceptional that even if they had someone they wanted to win, eh, mm -hmm. they wanted this person to win, but because of how exceptional I am, yeah. even the stage, everyone watching knows this is the winner. They can't because they don't also want to have that bad publicity. They'll have to choose you because you did a good job. So instead of looking at challenges as something to fear, um, to m kind of tell yourself, I'm not going to participate in this pageant, take it up as a challenge and say that it means I need to be the utmost best so that they do not g take that opportunity away from me. Wow. Yeah. And so let's talk flatness skin yes. care. When I was introducing the show, mm -hmm. I mentioned some fallacies or rather not really fallacies because to some people it works for mm -hmm. them. You find that someone has skin breakout and is not just finding that solution yeah. to her skin problem. So help such like a person. Just talk, first of all, tell us what Fletner mm -hmm. Skin Care is all about. And all that. Okay, so as I said, I'm coming here in the capacity of the brand ambassador for Flatner Africa. Mm -hmm. It's actually my modeling career that has led me to be the brand ambassador here because you find that in pageantry, even in just modeling in general, good, good skin is one of the um, things that you would need so people can consider you to maybe do jobs here and there and such. Mm -hmm. So um, because of that, my pursuit for maybe healthy skin, um, glowing skin, I actually um, joined Flatner Ambassador Competition, which is actually called Flatner Africa. Mm -hmm. But Flatna Africa is basically a skincare brand and they sell different lines of skincare. Mm -hmm. And one of the good things that you're saying when you're talking about all the negative information people have and they're looking for something that's working and it's not working for them. Mm -hmm. um, with Flatna, when you're going to buy, they're not just selling you a product because they want the cash out of it. Mm -hmm. They actually want something that will work for your skin. So you can even come back with a good review and, you know, refer your friends. <clears throat> so they make sure to bring um, dermatologists online. Mm -hmm. So when you're actually looking to what does do I need for my skin mm -hmm. whether you know anything or nothing about skincare mm -hmm. you have a dermatologist to actually lead you to know who will right tell you skincare. you have the oily skin yes, or exactly. dry skin exactly wow. yeah so that's one of the main um, advantages of flatner yes wow so uh, you are on a media tour mm -hmm. to encourage young ladies and gents yeah. to join flatner for uh, mostly upcoming content content yeah. creators. Mm -hmm. So what will, oh, for these guys who will take part in the competitions, yeah. what will they, what do they need to have? Yeah. Yeah. So the requirements to actually join Flatner Face is for you to just have skin. <laughs> and everyone has skin. Mm -hmm. So as long as you feel like you are creative, because especially right now, the youth are really joining into content <laughs> creation and such. Yeah. If you feel like you are creative mm -hmm. and you have nice skin. Uh, oh, um, sorry, or okay. even, uh -huh. let me cut you short. Yeah. So speaking of as long as you have skin, yeah. do you mean that if you have a flawless skin no, or no, no. you have no, actually. just a skin, oily, dry any type of skin, whether you have the worst breakouts and you want to try out, because mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons some people do join Flatner Face, because they really feel like they have breakouts and they want an opportunity to um, learn more about their skin and how to go about it. So it's mm -hmm. not about flawless skin here. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that Flatner we stand for mm -hmm. is uh, Throw, destroying that myth of um, for you to, you have to have flawless skin for you to do anything as a brand ambassador for skincare. No, but, but, how, but how can I be a brand ambassador of a skincare mm -hmm. company? Yeah. But my face is so 
broken out. The but pimples if you come are all over. Now can you see how more, much more of a sale it is? If you come <laughs> with your broken skin uh -huh. and in your one year of working with flatner, uh -huh. you find that your skin has actually gotten better. Don't you want to tell me it's more believable for someone to say, you know, I believe in this product. So I can actually uh, buy in into this product. That's exactly what we're trying to show. Okay. That it's for anyone. Because uh -huh. now ma many people have that. Um, they don't trust skincare brands because they're always seeing people with skin, perfect skin. So they think, no, you just took someone with perfect skin. It's not because of your product. Sure. And we want to kill that myth when it comes to flatna Africa. Wow. Yeah. So you come there and see it for yourself. Come as you are, see it for yourself, try it for yourself, and you'll see it works. And you'll see the results. Yes. Wow. So what are some of the products that you people deal in? They are very okay. different. Um, mm -hmm. Many lines actually in mm -hmm. Fletner. They we have um, and it's uh, as, as I, again as I said, it's according to your specification and your skin type. Mm -hmm. So we have things that are actually um, for people with oily skin, with breakouts, with dry skin. You even find we have even. Um, what are they called? Patches for when you have um, a breakout, especially women, we get hormonal breakouts when we are around that time of the month, you get a breakout. So we have some patches that you can put and they can um, easily deal with that instead of kwamka and then you know, pack a Colgate. Yeah. Right? We've been told so many lies. <laughs> so sure. something that actually works. And mm -hmm. the good thing again about skincare is that, um, about Fletner, is that the skincare is actually organic. Mm -hmm. It's something that's not at chemicals, nini. It's mm -hmm. something taken from nature. Most of our products are extra extracts from nature wow yeah so they okay they they will not have side effects yeah of course skin is different mm -hmm. so something that will work for oily skin will not necessarily work for dry skin mm. so you might find that maybe your skin is suffering when you're trying to use something someone else is using and mm. again as i said that's why we also have dermatologists on board to tell you you know what um your skin is oily try this your skin is dry try this yours is normal try this so that's why you also um it's a good opportunity it's a good thing to try and do it with flatner because mm -hmm. you'll have advice not just someone telling you buy this product how costly are the products it depends actually with what you're looking for because sometimes depending on the level of damage of your skin you need to actually invest more okay. and sometimes maybe your skin is in a good situation so you just need um, constant care here and there so it's it's very different the things that do range from 4,000 to 6,000 the others that range from even 900 to 2,000 so it's not something that can be too expensive depending on what it is you need wow. yeah uh, so I guess that as a company, as mm -hmm. a brand ambassador, mm -hmm. there are some challenges that you have gone through, yeah. you have experienced during your reign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think even before I get into the challenges, I can even just first of all get into what what uh, Fletner Face is about. Mm -hmm. Because the company is called Fletner Africa, but we have Fletner Face. So Fletner Face is basically a brand ambassador competition mm -hmm. that we are calling all creatives to join in mm -hmm. um, and maybe like kind of, can I say register or apply? Mm -hmm. Then when you register and apply and they're shortlisted, we'll have finalists who will go in into one whole year mm -hmm. of skincare. Um, they'll get skincare products for free every month. How can I, sorry, how can I, how, how can they register yes let me actually get to that so uh -huh. how you can um, register is actually if you have your product your 2500 mm -hmm. buy some products in Fletna with mm -hmm. your 2500 and then you'll take um, a photo post whatever whatever is your means of creativity whether it's TikTok, Instagram Facebook just make a post with mm -hmm. the products and maybe giving a review of how you've used them so far whether you've just used them for a week and how you're feeling about them and maybe talk about your skincare whether you're beginning, whether you're trying out something new, whether you've had breakouts, just talk about your skincare in your post. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to the Fletner website, you'll see a form and that form you'll fill out your information and you link the post that you put up there. So once you link that post, that is officially it. You're now registered into Fletner Face. Mm -hmm. And now from there, they'll go on and um, in a series of three rounds, they'll cut down people to have 12 finalists. So these 12 finalists are the ones who are going to go into the next year, 2022. Mm -hmm. All throughout the year, they're going to be doing different challenges and they'll be finally, um, at the end of the year, mm -hmm. one overall winner. And that one overall winner gets to go home with 200,000 Kenya shillings. Wow. Yeah.
And not only that, actually, if you are um, amongst the finalists all mm -hmm. throughout the year, you'll be receiving packages, skincare packages, mm -hmm. for 2,500 mm -hmm. each and every month. You'll be receiving skincare packages. Mm -hmm. So it's a good opportunity for someone who's looking to learn more about skincare or help their skin become better mm -hmm. to get that opportunity to do it kind of for free. That's one of the advantages I've been able to have there. And um, the last addition to it, you know, mm -hmm. is that every three months of the year, you will have that th the people competing at that point whoever is ahead in the challenges mm -hmm. will actually get 25,000 Kenya shillings so every three months there's a 25,000 Kenya shillings to be won so mm -hmm. even if you're not the overall winner how to call me talk about it and then okay. finally up as the overall winner you'll walk away with your 200,000 Kenya shillings yeah wow. so any challenges that you faced ah so my challenges I think um getting into this was I actually did not know anything about skincare. I was so honest with them even when I was entering. I told them I'm entering because I want to learn more about my skin and more about skincare. So I didn't know anything about skincare. Mm -hmm. So it was more of a very heavy learning experience for me because I had to now find out um, what is my skin type, mm -hmm. what do I need for my skin. When I have a breakout, what do I do? Mm -hmm. But with the kind of knowledge I have now, I'm like, it's been a good year, clearly, <laughs> because now I can say I know how to kind of take care of my skin. Of course, I'm not yet there like a skin guru or anything, but I'm getting there. So that has been one of my main challenges. Wow. Yeah. Is it why, okay, on a personal note, is uh -huh. it why you're keeping the natural skin? Yeah, you know, that's actually one of the reasons I did it. Because as a pageant queen, I think we are, most times you see us in makeup, in yeah. what, that one can be damaging to your skin. Mm -hmm. And two, also to your confidence. Because when you take out your makeup, maybe you don't feel as beautiful mm -hmm. without your makeup. And I wanted to change that narrative. I wanted to show people that you can be a pageant queen and feel beautiful in your own skin. So mm -hmm. I decided, let me join a brand that believes in the same thing, believes in natural skincare mm -hmm. and natural beauty, and learn from them and see what I can get from them. And I have to say I've learned a lot. Wow. Yeah. So you mentioned that the winner will have a monthly supply yeah. of products. Mm -hmm. What it's actually not the only winner. It's for the 12 finalists who will get into the year. So that whole year, they'll have a supply of products monthly. So as much as you're a participant. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's so a nice deal. It's a win-win. <laughs> so anyone who is willing to participate, must he or she be a content creator? Um, not necessarily, but mm -hmm. in the in the span of that year, mm -hmm. you see, you'll be creating content to put out there. So mm -hmm. it would be an advantage if you are, but mm -hmm. you can also kind of learn on the job. And you don't have to feel limited by maybe your age or something. Mm -hmm. We actually had our previous winner was a mom with a kid. Mm -hmm. So you can be, that's why I was saying it's for anyone, as long as you have skin, you know, because you can be in whatever age bracket, you can be male or female, you can have dry or oily skin. Yeah. So uh, we, we, whichever age, mm -hmm. anyone is qualified to yeah, participate. Yeah, of course. But of course, if you're under age, um, under 18, you need consent from your parents, of course. Yeah. True. So when we talk of skin issues and skin care, mm -hmm. uh, many people will not just like finding a dermatologist. You mm -hmm. tell someone you have to come see a dermatologist mm -hmm. and all that. Find it so costly in a way yeah so this person who has a skin breakout mm -hmm. and wants to use a uh, flatner skin care mm -hmm. but he feels like i can't afford to pay the dermatologist mm -hmm. for this dermatologist to tell me your skin is oily or mm -hmm. your skin is dry can the same person access flatner skin care products exactly that's why i'm here to promote the flatner face because that's a that's an opportunity to get all these things that would otherwise be very costly mm -hmm. kind of for free just by registering and investing this 2500 that you have which mm -hmm. is exactly what i did and i've been able to get skin care to learn so much about skin care from the dermatologist to get the skin care products themselves all throughout this course of course of one year mm -hmm. and i've been able to get it technically for free because mm. the only investment I did make was the 2,500 and of course now my time when it comes to content creation mm -hmm. and even finding out more about skincare so this is a good opportunity for you who feels that maybe you're not financially capable to do that yet mm -hmm. but you would like to pursue skincare and find out more about your skin this is the opportunity for that yeah wow yeah
So I'm sure that someone out there mm -hmm. is watching you this morning. Na akona zile pimples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These ones have been a big toll on mm -hmm. me. I guess if finding a solution this morning, it is not just continuing, yeah. going to continue with the <laughs> egg, whatever, or the oh, avocado, yeah. and whatever on the skin. Mm -hmm. So, uh, flatner skin care. Mm -hmm. You, you guys deal in beauty co beauty products. Yeah. Like your company, where 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 is it? Mm -hmm. Can someone just walk in and buy the product, mm -hmm. or must this person make online? Um, so Flatter is mainly an online um, thing, mm -hmm. but there are direct deliveries to your home or even to town like CBD and you can get deliveries from there. Mm -hmm. And right now we've actually just recently opened now uh, some, like a Flatner point, a point where you can actually go see some, some products. It's kind of like a shop, mm -hmm. but not really because it's not necessarily fully ours. It's more of like a rental. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have as of now um, so that you can go and be able to see. Yeah. But mainly it's online, so you can peruse through. And I think the good thing with online is you're able to do all your research on the products there and you don't have the pressure of having to pick things immediately there. Because you find that online, when you look at a product, it has all its ingredients, all the directions on how to use it, its advantages, the kind of skin type it's for. Mm -hmm. And then you're able to choose whether I want this or I don't want this. Yeah. Wow. So it's a walk-in, so you have got a walk-in somewhere. Um, right now, mm -hmm. yes. Um, I don't remember the exact location. I think it's somewhere in, is it Karen or Kitusur? I'm not sure, I'll, I'd need to confirm that from um, the heads. Mm -hmm. But yes, right now we do have um, a walk-in location. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you want to see that just right now, um, you can look at Fletna Africa on Instagram. And from there, you'll see the details on where our, our walk-in is. Okay. Yeah. So what are your future plans with, oh sorry, before I go to the future plans, mm -hmm. uh, what has been the feedback from people who have been using Fletna skincare products I so think far? I think so far so good. Mm -hmm. um, maybe the, the, the feedback sometimes you'll have is maybe for people who are struggling to get it. Mm -hmm. may, they may feel that maybe it's expensive and such, mm -hmm. especially with the ones who have extreme skincare conditions and um, they're not yet financially able to do it. And that's why we open up opportunities like this. Mm -hmm. And even if you follow up with our Instagram, you'll see that we actually do giveaways here and there, especially on days like maybe Valentine's, Mother's Day, you know, such things. We actually do have uh, giveaways always here and there so even if you're not able to um, purchase them you can look for such opportunities or opportunities where there are discounts yeah mm. so that's one of the things that I think Fletna um, works for people yeah wow so as an individual yeah. what future plans do you have as a, as a beauty pageant mm -hmm. as I think right now I'm in school, as I said, so mm -hmm. I'm finishing out my final year in school. Mm -hmm. And I'm also continuing to pursue the IT department. I'm actually going to continue to be um, kind of interning at Fletna when it comes now to IT, not just the beauty and skincare part of it. Um, and then from there, I think with my beauty pageant career, I want to go ahead and compete for other pageants. So I'll continue with my research, see what pageant I will invest in next mm -hmm. and compete for it, of course. Yeah, that, those are technically my plans but I always leave space for God to surprise me because you never know what God's plans are with you <laughs> yeah and so how do you balance the two uh, I think it's deciding sometimes to prioritize one of the over the other when there's that agency and when there's that space to balance you will now balance but you'll find sometimes maybe exam time mm -hmm. at that time you can't necessarily deeply invest in something like when you're doing your um, my skincare, my brand ambassador things, my queenly things, I can't do them at that time when I'm having exams. And sometimes when I'm having a competition and I'm traveling out of the country to compete, like for Miss Gran, it was in Thailand. When I'm traveling out, I can't necessarily at that time be in school. So it's just finding, checking your priority at a moment and mm -hmm. making sure you kind of balance them out. When it's time for to prioritize this one, you prioritize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a young girl out there, is watching you this morning mm -hmm. wants to be a beauty pageant yeah. like you says I want to be like Karirin what can you tell her I can tell her to start investing in herself at a not financially she can try and there are 
YouTube is our friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can try and go to YouTube and research on maybe your walk, how to walk and talk like a beauty queen. You can um, invest in your public speaking skills. Mm -hmm. So you can even join clubs in school, for example, that are in public speaking. Usually have like something like debate clubs and such. Even in universities, you have public speaking clubs. So you can join something like that so you can, you can better your public speaking. Mm -hmm. And for your walk, and if you're in university, actually the best way to start is the Miss University. Whether it's Miss Jacob, at Miss KU, whatever, you just join that one. It's the best way to start because you kind of get free training, especially in walks and such. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's where someone should begin. Uh, speaking of YouTube, yeah. how has social media impacted on your career? I think it has impacted my, my career very powerfully because it's sometimes it's people like to kind of demonize social media and say it's bad, it's, mm -hmm. but it's how you decide to use it because really haven't, social you, media... <laughs> eh? You haven't been bullied yet. Uh, not yet. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't happen. Uh -huh. But no, it's, uh, um, I'm not even talking about necessarily the bullying. I'm uh -huh. talking about how you use social media on a daily. Instead of having it being somewhere you're always obsessed, you can have it um, as... Because there's, there's a lot of content to learn from even financial content on social media mm -hmm. there is so much that you can use to learn from social media so that's kind of what I would advise people to do use social media as a learning platform because mm -hmm. you're getting kind of um, advice um, people's experiences their lessons their failures for free and you can learn so that you also don't feel the same way but mm -hmm. in terms of my own social media and its growth of course as I have continued in the pageantry um, industry I think so far so good Sijapata, you know <laughs> any trolls online or anything mm -hmm. but it's because I also try to have very friendly content mm -hmm. and I think what you expect and what you give is what will come back to you mm -hmm. um, and if that doesn't happen sometimes you just need to ignore the haters mm -hmm. and keep up with the True. people who are actually supporting you yeah exactly so uh talk to someone or rather or rather let me put it as a question mm -hmm. that uh, there there is this misconception mm -hmm. that for you to be a model you have to starve yourself mm -hmm. and just wake up and take warm water with lemon <laughs> Yeah. Are, you, are you starving yourself yourself? Do I look starved? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm looking very healthy here. Uh -huh. um, no, it's actually not true. Uh -huh. And you'll find that for beauty pageants, actually, it's quite discouraged. Mm -hmm. Because if they find you, um, maybe you're starving yourself. Or there are girls who even try to force themselves to puke when they eat and such things. Mm -hmm. They actually, you might find it may cost you the crown. Because they don't want someone who, that's how you're, you're, doing, you're managing your fitness. Instead of actually mm -hmm. going the fitness way, mm -hmm. go to the gym, try and maybe eat healthy and do all these things and get that body that you're proud of whether it looks like this person's or not mm -hmm. get the body you're proud of and be able to showcase it to the world like this is a healthy body mm -hmm. um you find that they don't want someone who is doing all these things mm -hmm. because it would be very bad publicity to them if it's found out that their queen is you know starving themselves mm -hmm. making like they're making themselves puke they are not eating mm -hmm. and all these things it can be very bad publicity so it's something that pageants actually shy away from it's something they don't actually want mm -hmm. and if you you're watching pageantry of recent they're actually embracing mm -hmm. um fuller bodies even the african kind of body they're yeah. embracing that because you find pageants like miss south africa even miss world the current miss south africa um who is going to miss world mm -hmm. is actually a very like curvy woman and she's beautiful yeah, and she's and going now, with her and full and nowadays confidence. we have the plus size model yes exactly so it's not necessarily um i think that was a past notion so mm -hmm. right now women are breaking barriers and saying you cannot define us by how small we are and yet i have a lot to offer mm -hmm. as a leader so no i don't think that's something happening right now you're not starving so what I'm do you eat each morning? <laughs> <laughs> because there is someone watching you and is like i just want to be like irene yeah so it's like Okay, you're not starving yourself. What are you eating for breakfast, for lunch, for supper, for you to look like this, to glow like this? I think I try to eat healthy, mm -hmm. um, so try and avoid junk food. Not that I don't indulge here and there, I won't lie to people, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do indulge here and there, but I make sure that um, most of my intake is actually healthy produce. And then um, from there, I also try to make sure I'm working out, mm -hmm. I'm taking care of my skin, I'm drinking a lot of water. All these things added together is what will bring that whole package, not just 
just one thing that you starve yourself because even if you, when you do that you wouldn't necessarily be strong enough to do things yeah mm -hmm. so working out is one of the major things that i do and again as i said youtube is your friend you can even have um Home workouts like if you're not able to pay. Workouts. Yeah, you, you home workouts? Yeah, you home You work out at home. That's how I started with my workouts. Working out at home, you end up eating. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that's where it come, discipline comes in. You just learn slowly to discipline yourself. And you have, if you have such a hard time with disciplining yourself, mm -hmm. you can also look for um, personal trainers. Personal trainers do exist for these reasons. And there are some that come at a good price. Like, for mm -hmm. example, I, I work with a personal trainer at Min Fitness. Mm -hmm. And it works well for me. Yeah. Wow, that's you. So moving on, mm -hmm. uh, there is a time Miss World Kenya mm -hmm. in 2016, mm -hmm. she, her, her crown was revoked. Mm -hmm. You remember? Mm -hmm. So uh, because allegedly she behaved in a, a way that is a, a way that did not conform mm -hmm. to the rules and regulations of Miss Kenya. So. What do you think or how you as a person, mm -hmm. as a model, as Ms. Grant International, are the ways that a model should behave to keep that good public image? Mm -hmm. I think um, that's why I was saying you find pageantry is different. Um, mm -hmm. The normal stereotypes people have about modeling, mm -hmm. and because there are also stereotypes like people think modeling is technically like prostitution, yes. yeah. So you find for pageantry, you see, you can even behave badly and be taken off your crown. For mm -hmm. pageantry, it's quite, quite different. It's changing that narrative of what, um, what modeling is. So mm -hmm. that's why you find such things happen. I think the right way to behave as a beauty queen, first of all, is to understand that you're in the public eye. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing you need to understand. And also understand that you are a leader. That as a beauty queen, there are a lot of young people looking up to you and that means that even if you would like to indulge here and there you want to go out in this club or you want to do this you might have to either limit it or make sure that you're doing it in a more civilized manner mm -hmm. these are one of the things that can actually cost someone their crown because they see um, the way you're indulging and yet there's probably a child who's 10 years old and you know Africa is very conservative mm -hmm. so you don't expect to be always out um, clubbing and then there's a tiny old looking at you and that it would look bad to a parent you know mm -hmm. maybe um, outside there it's not that serious they kind of see it as something that you do at that age and that's fine mm -hmm. but here you have to be more sensitive to the people that are actually looking at you because you're in the public eye so I think that's one of the main things that you want to do and always when you're looking for an organization you need to make sure that their values and your lifestyle they mm -hmm. align so you don't feel like you're forcing yourself to be someone you're not mm -hmm. so when you find an organization where your lifestyle and their values align they won't have a problem with you because how you live is how they kind of uh, want to promote um, their queen. Yeah. True. So let me jump yeah. back to skincare. Back to skincare. <laughs> <laughs> so someone is watching you this mm -hmm. morning, but he or she can't afford a uh, flatener skincare mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. What can you tell her that she can just do at home, mm -hmm. home remedy for that breakout that is ne never just going away? I think, as I said, I'm still also coming up with my, um, in my skincare journey. So maybe mm -hmm. I might not know everything that a professional would necessarily know. But what I can advise mm -hmm. is when you're looking for skincare, whether it's flat now or it's not flat now, um, there are things that you want to look out for. Mm -hmm. You want to take something that doesn't have... Um, you know the strong smells, Linkamata perfume, mm -hmm. you don't want something like that, where the, the main ingredient of what you're using mm -hmm. has like these strong smells. That's something that will cause breakout mm -hmm. on your skin. So when you're looking for skincare products, you need to look for something like that. And um, for a home, re a home remedy, you need to make sure that there are steps that you follow every morning mm -hmm. and night, because mm -hmm. you need to take care of your skin morning and night. I think Kenya to Mezuesha ni asubui tu unawasha uso unatoka, then unakuja unalala. But then when you think about it, all throughout the day your skin has been gathering so much dirt and then you sleep in that dirt, it's going to cause breakouts. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're washing your face, you're cleansing your face morning and night. If you don't feel like you're in a position to get um, heavy skin care, you can just get a nice um, bar soap. I would recommend um, a black, like a black soap. Mm -hmm. they, they usually call that, yeah? Black soap. <laughs> black soap. Yeah, I think so. So I'd recommend um, black soap. Uh -huh. You use that um, for your skin morning and night to cleanse it. Mm -hmm. And then just look for a nice moisturizer. It doesn't, uh, again, just make sure it doesn't have like a strong 
fragrance because such things they cause a lot of breakouts and test it out and see if it works for you and that's the thing with skincare it's consistency mainly that works it's making sure that you're doing it in the morning and the night and then another home remedy that people don't want to hear is work out and drink water mm -hmm. <laughs> because when you work out your pores clear out as you're sweating you know so that's one of the things you can do and also there's this thing where women do and they steam their face you can also do something like that those are just some of the few remedies you can try there are people who think makeup is skin remedy. Uh, makeup is not skin remedy. <laughs> <laughs> and really, good makeup, if you have good skin, your makeup even looks nice when you put it on because it's not necessarily layers and layers of coverage, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm jumping from skincare to beauty pageantry uh, here and there. <laughs> so, uh, back to beauty pageantry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when we were speaking earlier, yeah. we t I asked you a question on why you think, if you think that the industry is dying out mm -hmm. and sponsors are not coming in, uh, you as a person, if you were to call out on the government mm -hmm. to just come out and give that attention yeah. that you models need, what would you say? I think I'd, I'd call out the government to join in, especially um, the tourism board, mm -hmm. because you find that most times when those girls are going out there for even me, mm -hmm. um, we find that that's uh, that's what we are promoting. We are talking about our country, the beautiful scen sceneries that are here. That's mm -hmm. the first thing people think about when they think about Kenya, safaris and such. Mm -hmm. So we are promoting that or, or, already. So we need to have that the government is partnering with us. So when we are going there, we have we are promoting it in a better way because mm -hmm. when we are able financially, we can also show people that there's so much more that Kenya has to offer. But not only that, you find even for organizations themselves and especially the fashion um, industry, big fashion brands here in Kenya, I think um, designers should partner with models to because they're going out there and they're, they're there for a month. You can dress them for that month so that people are seeing your products. People are seeing um, Kenyans supporting Kenyans. They're seeing the Kitenge. They're seeing, you know, such things that can actually promote not only um, the industry, but also our culture. You're putting short to a girl or a boy out there mm -hmm. who has skin breakout and has never just found solution for it can talk to that camera i think if you have skin breakouts and you don't feel like you have found a solution for it um try out the basic steps that i did mention before working out drinking taking in a lot of water and of course trying the little little um, remedies i gave earlier but i would advise you this is an opportunity you have to actually join flat face because it's an opportunity you will get to get all this um solutions for you for free so join fledna face by making sure to go to go to our instagram page and check out we'll have a link there that describes exactly how you need to join fledna face and it's not only going to be good for your skin but also for your wallet <laughs> wow so yeah. it was nice having you thank you it was very thank nice you. being here thank you for coming and this is a good conversation yes. that we would wish to have more and more mm -hmm. because skin care it's something that is not ending right now because breakouts today you have a good skin yeah. tomorrow you wake up mm -hmm. your how your, your face is pimpled mm -hmm. so thank you for coming here at Y254 mm -hmm. we celebrate you thank you so much for having me it's been an honor you're welcome yeah. wow what a conversation. I guess uh, you've gotten one or two things. And as you start your morning, uh, I, uh, I wish that you put hard work in whatever that you do. Keep doing what you're doing with diligence. Don't listen to the negative voices that you can't do it. When, you put, when you're diligent at whatever you do, at the end of the day, when you ignore the voices of the haters and the doubters, you find that at that time when you excel, even the haters and the doubters will come out as your greatest supporters because excellence has so many mothers, but failure is an orphan. Kayesu is up next with Girlstock. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back.